Yes! I finally get to talk about ARMS after a couple of months. Uh, there's always little updates for games like Splatoon 2, ARMS, and all of Nintendo's various things that I don't really cover at Nintendo Prime on our YouTube channel because I'd be releasing like 13 different videos a day if I wanted to cover every little Nintendo update out there. But this is really interesting because data miners have discovered something like 20 characters total for ARMS. And some of them are characters that have already released, while some of them are ones that we have never even heard of. The report here that I'm reading off of NintendoEverything.com says Splatoon 2 isn't the only Nintendo game that has been recently data mined. Fans have also been pouring through the contents of ARMS and apparently found the internal code names for 20 fighters. Some that are already in the game and some that aren't. So here's the full list. Here's the breakdown. So we've got Belt, who is Max Brass. Chain and Coil, those are two separate ones. Uh, they have no correlation to any character in the game right now. DNA, which is Helix. Hair, which is Twintel. Me, which is Min Min. Mummy, who is, well, Mummy. Uh, Ninja, who's Ninjara. Plant, again, another one that we don't know. Uh, Police, which is Bite and Bark. Ribbon, Ribbon Girl. Uh, Robo, again, an another new one. Scroll, yet another new one. Snake. It, that's Kid Cobra, Spring, aka Springman, uh, and then there's Sumo, and then Surprise, and then Sweet, and then Twin Tail, not to be confused with Twin Tella, uh, and then Worker, who is you know Me Mechanica, I guess is how you pronounce that name. So that that means Chain, Coil, Plant, Robo, Scroll, Sumo, Surprise, Sweet, and Twin Tail are all things that are listed in the game, but are characters that do not currently exist. Now we don't know. If this means they're going to be releasing these characters in future DLC updates, uh, if they're going to charge for them, if they're going to be free updates, I, we have no idea. But it's interesting to know that that means there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine potential new characters being added to ARMS uh, this year over the course of the next couple years. Uh, very interesting. Uh, and, and there is a there is a note here that while there are two entries for Twintel here. Uh, the hair code name seems to be the final finished version of the character. We're not entirely sure what the other one is. Uh, it could be a placeholder for another fighter or something else. That, that that's of course in, in reference to Twin Tail. Uh, there were two other names apparently also discovered, um, but they're not as significant. There's Boss Head, who is Headlock, and RNA, which are the dummies. Uh, and we know that Arms will be receiving more fighters, but Nintendo hasn't said when the additions will stop. Uh, the list above could be an indication. So we they've already added new fighters, obviously, through DLC updates. But one, two, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like nine new characters could potentially be added. That's a ton of new content. Uh, Nintendo, Nintendo's almost doubling the roster size, essentially, uh, post release and probably doing it all for free and this is just really really cool uh we know that this isn't the first time nintendo's done this obviously we know about all the little updates they've added to splatoon in the past and what they're doing with splatoon 2 but we know in smash they actually charged per character added the smash bros and it'll be interesting to see if they if they bring that model into arms i don't think they're going to i think these are going to be free updates just because arms is a brand new ip and doesn't have uh, doesn't have, you know, tens of millions of fans of it yet uh, to kind of justify potentially selling these things. You want to keep building the strength of the game and the strength of the brand the game is trying to build. So this is just really exciting news to me. Uh, I love ARMS, man. It is so much fun. Uh, I it, it baffles my mind that this game even exists because they easily could have just shoehorned this idea of arms into like a punch out game or into another, you know, Wii boxing type game. And instead they built this entire game, this entire fighting genre arena game around this concept of, you know, extendable arms. And I, I love it. Nintendo is, you know, it's not the, the greatest game ever made. You know, it's not the second coming of, of Pikmin. You know, it's not the second coming of Metroid and Zelda and Mario. But it's just a, a really solid, high-quality title. New IP. This is the kind of Nintendo I grew up with, right? ARMS and Splatoon. Like, this feels like... Even codenamed Steam, which, you know, obviously tanked. I really enjoyed the game. It, this feels like an era where Nintendo's experimenting and releasing new IPs. And this is what it was for me when I was a kid. Like... 
Mario wasn't a thing until Mario came out. Zelda wasn't a thing until Zelda came out. Metroid, Kid Icarus, Castlevania back then, even though that wasn't Nintendo. Like, all of these IPs we know and love today, Pokemon, like, they didn't exist at one point until Nintendo created them. And here we are with ARMS as another new IP, just blowing my mind, making me so happy. Uh, and all these new content updates. I like this approach they've done with Splatoon and are apparently doing it with ARMS in terms of spacing out content releases, keeping the community active for you know years at a time uh, instead of necessarily giving you everything right away and then you, the, the online competitive community kind of dies out. Uh, I, I like it. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Nintendo. Uh, for getting back to the roots of what made your company so awesome for me when I was a kid in terms of all these new IPs. And this is crazy, man. Potentially nine new <laughs> characters to be added still to ARMS uh, out of a current lineup that that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 strong. I, man. And remember, Max Brass wasn't there technically at launch. That was a release later. Uh, so that literally means they're doubling the size of the roster potentially here. This is... Oh, this is happy. As always, there'll be sources down in the comments below, or the comments below, in the description below. Uh, and you guys let me know, uh, how, are you guys liking ARMS? Are, are you going to like, you know, are you happy that they're, they potentially have nine more characters to come? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more, and as always, folks, I will catch you in the next one.